everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am going to be doing a comparison review of two beloved Louis Vuitton handbags that I own that I really enjoy. I was thinking this video might be helpful for those of you who are on the fence. Perhaps you are looking at either or both of these handbags to add to your collection. And so I thought I would give you my opinions on both of these handbags pitted against one another and on their own. Um, the Speedy B 25 is the one handbag I will be comparing against the Pochette Matisse. So before we continue, please make sure to subscribe so you do not miss any more of the content that I upload here. Turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload a new video and smash that like button because that helps out with the YouTube algorithm to help get my videos out for more people to see. So before we get started, I would like to direct you to the description box because there's gonna be a slew of information down there, as well as the original unboxing videos with the story behind the purchasing, um, where these came from, how these came about. I would direct you to those if you're interested in why I picked these two handbags in the first place, as well as other comparison reviews that I have done with this one, the Speedy B, against another handbag that I own from Louis Vuitton. I'm going to be including timestamps in the description box as well if you just wanna to jump to certain portions portions of the video. And so we are going to jump on in and I'm going to go over each handbag individually and then we will get into the comparison. So starting with the Pochette Matisse, this has a very gorgeous satchel silhouette. It comes with a detachable and adjustable strap. It adjusts from 18.9 inches all the way up to 21.7 inches. So depending on your height, if you'd like to have a little bit of a longer length, there is that option. The handbag itself comes with an S lock closure. There are three individual compartments here, two of which are a little larger than the one in the back. Behind the handbag, there is a zipper closure right here. The top handle here, I have a bandeau on, but it is a treated black leather on the top for the handle. And then there is a little piece of leather right here as well. Moving on to the Speedy B25, this was originally created for travelers in the 1930s, and the name refers to the rapid transit at the time, which of course now, this many years later, uh, transit is much more rapid than it was in the 1930s. So this particular handbag, it is a 9.8 inch length, a 7.5 inch height, and a 5.9 inch width. This comes with a padlock right here. It also has the treated leather handles. The uh, strap is also treated leather. It is detachable as well, and it is also an adjustable strap. The strap on this particular one is adjustable from 18.3 inches to a 21.7 inch drop. The inside, I have a felt liner on the inside of here, which I will link in the description box. But the inside of it is basically all open, but there is one little pocket right here, and I just keep the keys for the padlock inside that little pocket when I'm not using it. But you can indeed put this little lock over the zipper here for security. If you were traveling somewhere and you didn't need to quickly get into your handbag, it does provide that added security. Now we're going to move on to the comparison of the two handbags. And a lot of the factors that I'm going to be discussing with you are things that I myself thought about and researched prior to purchasing both of these handbags. So the first factor I'm gonna discuss is print availability, because sometimes we wanna pick a handbag solely because we like the way it looks. So I'm going to discuss what these come in, what they're available in. The Damier Aben is what the Speedy B25 that I own is in. This also comes in monogram. It comes in the Damier Azure print. And then they often release this particular handbag in what I'm going to call fashion prints or limited edition things. Things that they come out with in particular collections. Things that if you really like it, you might want to get your hands on it because it's not a permanent item. So this handbag comes in those other options. The Pochette Matisse is this particular handbag and I chose it in the reverse monogram. So I was really drawn to this. Now when it first came out, I didn't really like this color, but I've grown to love it. I mean, I find that it really works well with a lot of things that I wear. I wouldn't say this is the best color scheme for maybe like spring, summer per se, but you can change that, you know, brighten up this handbag with a bandeau. Um, however, this bag does come in the monogram. This is the reverse monogram. 
It does come in the emprunt leather, which is all leather handbag. These are coated canvas. These are not leather. They does have leather accents and leather handles and leather um, trim on these two particular bags, but the emprunt leather is their more luxurious, kind of soft, embossed leather, if you will. And then I have also seen this come out in limited edition collections. So as far as the two handbags, there are a variety of options within choosing a print if that is solely what you're going on. Next, I wanna talk price, because price was a factor for me with my first Louis Vuitton handbag, I had a budget. And I walked into the store and quickly realized that there was only about two handbags that I could choose from on that budget, but I was able to make a choice. Now, at the time that I purchased these, these have since gone up in price. So this price is current as of January 2021. The Speedy B re retails for 1,650 US dollars. Pachette Matisse retails for 2,100 US dollars. So next, let's talk about size. Size is definitely a factor con to consider when going about purchasing a new handbag. Some of us really love to have just a smaller handbag that carries our necessities and others of us wanna carry everything but the kitchen sink just in case. I've already mentioned the dimensions, but I am going to hold them up side by side so you can see how they compare next to each other. The Pochette Matisse is rather deceiving. So it has the zippered compartment on the back, and this is typically where I put, like if I have my grocery list, which is currently in here, or my phone. I would not stuff this too much because keep in mind, it is a crossbody wear handbag. So it is gonna sit on the side of your body and you don't want something too clunky or too full. I wouldn't overstuff any of my Louis Vuitton handbags. You just really wanna take into consideration if I need to carry more that day, maybe this isn't the handbag. However, I will tell you, this can carry a lot. So inside the handbag, it has three compartments. This very back one, I keep my keys in and a mirror little compartment here. So I have my key pouch with my car keys. This handbag opens in an accordion style, so it really can hold a good amount of things. In the, in the middle compartment, I have my little Pochette Matisse, and then I carry my sunglasses. And then in the front compartment, I have some hand lotion, my uh, little, uh, I don't actually know what the small version is called, like a small zippy wallet, um, pens, which you probably shouldn't keep those open in a handbag. But if you can kind of see inside there, it is dark. This is a felt um, microfiber, that's probably the word, microfiber lining, so it's easy to clean. And so here's what the bag looks like, completely opened up. I would say that this handbag is almost a medium size. I'd say it's like a small plus or a medium minus handbag because it can carry all the essentials that you need, but I would not overstuff it because what's gonna happen is then it's gonna be kind of hard to open and close with this enclosure here. And if you overstuff it, you might risk, you know, just something not looking quite right or this is gonna get wider and wider on your body. So as you're carrying it, the silhouette of the handbag and how it looks on you is gonna change. But I think that this, for me, holds everything that I could need. Keep in mind that the things I have in here are pretty narrow. I wouldn't put any like larger sunglass cases in here or anything. So that the, because the profile of it is more slim, I would just keep in mind the things that you're gonna put in there, you're gonna need to keep them a little bit like a smaller profile so that the bag looks on your body and sits right and it closes properly. So the Speedy, 25 this comes in other sizes this does come in a 30 size and a 35 size and i believe those dimensions are in millimeters don't quote me um but the 25 size for me on my frame i'm five foot four i thought suited my frame i think about how a handbag is going to look against me when I go to buy it. And that's why I gravitate towards a little bit smaller of a handbag because the bigger the handbag, the more I look like swallowed up. <laughs> it looks like the handbag's wearing me. Now, that being said, this is a workhorse. This can hold a lot of things. Now, currently I just have a little organizer in here because I like to stick things in individually when I carry this so I can just grab them out instead of trying to put pouches in and out because of the opening. So the opening on here is decent. 
But if you're gonna start to try to put, say, an iPad or a tablet in here, you're gonna need to angle it a little bit to get it in. Now, you can easily get smaller things in and out of here, um, but larger items, uh, you might have to angle a little bit differently. But you can really stuff this. You can fit a lot in here. I forgot to mention it also has this little ring here that you can attach keys to. Um, it does have that little tiny inside pocket. I mean, it's so small, it, it, it holds what? you know, a very small amount. I just keep the keys in, in there for the locket. But as far as size is concerned, I would say that comparing between these two handbags, I think this one's gonna carry a lot more, especially if you have a sunglass case that's not as thin as my Ray-Ban uh, sunglass cases. Let me just show you. These I keep in the Pochette Matisse because I find that this slim case works the best, but maybe you have prescription glasses or you have a hard case that you can't really part with, you might have to consider that when um, purchasing the Pochette Matisse or maybe put them in a slimmer case. But stuff like this works better in the slimmer profile of the Pochette Matisse versus the Speedy. Security. This is definitely something to consider because I myself am not a tote girl and one of my number one reasons why I dislike a tote is because it has no security. It's just floppy, wide open, you have your handbag in your car, you slam on your brakes, your purse goes flying and everything in your purse is now on the floor of your car. <laughs> I know we've all been there. Um, I like a bag that can zip or lock. Something that is completely secure I feel confident and safe carrying this around. I don't live in an area where I need to be, you know, it's not, I'm no, I don't live in New York City, for example, where you're constantly around other people. That would be something I would consider when purchasing a handbag if I lived in an area where it was like that. But even so, it doesn't matter. Maybe you're out somewhere late in the evening or you're out at a bar or you're out for dinner late at night and you, you set your purse down somewhere. You don't wanna be concerned about someone getting into it. So I love the Speedy for that reason because like I said, it has the zipper closure, but it also has this lock. So that's just like your added little security protection. I love the closure on this. I think it's kind of fun. I'm not sure how it will wear over time. I have not had this purse for years at this point, so I'm not sure how this will wear. I don't have any existing scratches or anything on it, um, but I think as far as security, I would probably choose the Speedy B25 as, if that is indeed a large factor consideration for you. The next category is durability. And durability is important to me. If I'm gonna invest this kind of money into a handbag, I need it to be able to, to stand up to my lifestyle, to stand up to children touching it, to stand up to me throwing it into my car, throwing it over my body, going shopping, being out in the rain, how I live life. I do not want to baby a handbag. I don't want to carry an umbrella for my handbag. I want to just use it and I wanna use it carefree, and I want, I mean, you spend the money, you wanna use this thing. You don't wanna spend the money and put it in a closet and just know that you have a collection and not actually use it, because then cost per wear is not a good ratio. So both of these handbags are made of the same material. They're just different prints. They are both coated canvas. Coated canvas can get wet. You don't have to worry about a leather handbag. Uh, if you get water spots on it, or if you get caught in the rain, it can ruin the handbag. You have to wipe it off and all of that. I can't be worried about that, because more than likely if I'm out in the rain, I have children out in the rain, or I have groceries, or we're out doing something, I don't want to worry about this, okay? That's just not a thing I want to think about. So this is very carefree. Now, both of these handbags have, le this has a leather handle here, and then the little leather piece there, and then the Speedy has leather on it as well, on the handles here, which are a smooth cowhide leather, but it is treated. So both of these leathers are also carefree compared to Louis Vuitton's Vachetta leather, which comes on the monogram handbags. I personally don't ever want to own Vachetta leather. It is way too much maintenance for me. I'm not a huge fan of the patina look myself. I like this. I don't want to have to worry about um, sunspots, water spots, aging, is it aging well? I don't want to spend $2,000 on something and then have it look 10 years old because it got wet. Um, now I realize it's not, it can age well, it can be maintained, I get that. But for me personally, I don't want to have that worry. I don't want to think I'm wasting money on something that's not going to look and perform well. So for me, 
both of these are great durable choices. So I'd say this is a tie as far as durability. How you wear and carry the handbag. This is huge. And I think this is where my biggest opinion lies in the fact that I would choose a handbag that suits my lifestyle, suits my style, what I wear, the clothing that I wear. Um, what are you a little bit dressier? Are you a little bit more casual? And I have differing opinions on both of these handbags for both of those scenarios. So let's start with the Pochette Matisse. The Pochette Matisse has such a cute satchel profile. I actually really like this handbag carried without the strap when I'm wearing something a little bit dressier because suddenly it's not a casual crossbody everyday bag it is like a clutch, it's like a satchel, you still get everything about it. You still get all the bells and whistles, you just don't have to commit to the crossbody strap. Now when you are wearing this crossbody, it is more casual. I feel it gives off a more casual vibe, but hello, that is so practical. I highly recommend a crossbody bag if you're doing, if you have children and you need free hands, you gotta push a stroller, um, you're walking around a mall, um, you're going to a zoo, you're going somewhere where you wanna have your bag on you but you need your hands at the same time. That's where stuff without a crossbody strap gets a little bit tricky because if you don't have a secure place, if you don't have a stroller that you're pushing, then you're stuck carrying it and you get one hand. And I don't like that. I like versatility. I find that both of these handbags, for that reason, are incredibly versatile because they both come with the strap, which both of them are adjustable straps. Uh, they both come with the option to wear it crossbody or as a shoulder bag. Shoulder bags are also very practical. But I personally love the fact that basically you can wear both of these handbags three ways. You can carry them as a satchel, you can do the shoulder bag option, or you can do the crossbody. I also think it's cute when you carry this handbag with the strap attached to it as a satchel. It's just, it's like kind of a casual, kind of slouchy, fun, funky way to wear it. Like you have the strap in case you need it, but you can carry it this particular way. So for a casual bag, if you are a jeans and t-shirts kind of girl, sweaters, you sometimes get dressed up, but most of the time you are just casual, you just want something nice, you're not gonna be wearing business suits every day, I would recommend this. Because this particular style, I think, really elevates the look of your outfit. I love the versatility of the satchel. Um, I'm gonna do a separate video on my thoughts on the bandeau, so stay tuned for that. But I just really love how functional, practical, yet stylish this bag is. It's, it's a workhorse bag, it truly is. But if you despise crossbody, if that is not your thing, you can't stand it, then I would steer you to the Speedy Bee. This is another classic, iconic handbag silhouette. I love that this can be dressy. I love that because when you detach that bandolier uh, strap, it just looks like a very chic satchel bucket type situation. I have worn this and carried this with high heels, mini, not mini skirt, oh my gosh, no, I don't wear mini skirts. Um, pencil skirts, blouses, this bag works. This bag also works with a tank top and sweater and jeans. You, you just can't go wrong. But if you're looking for something that's even more versatile, something that can take you from this look to an evening look, then I would steer you right into the Speedy Bee. Style is definitely something to consider. Um, I wouldn't go out and buy a dressy, dressy handbag because I don't wear clothes that correspond with that. And I think that in a handbag, if it's too dressy for a hoodie sweatshirt and tennies, I personally, my opinion, don't like that look. Like I would not carry a very dressy Chanel with a hoodie and tennis shoes. I would opt more for something like this. So considering what you wear on a daily basis, if you are a woman that goes into the office, gosh, both of these would really work. Um, I think if I was going to go to the office every day and I wanted this silhouette, I would probably carry it without the crossbody or I would carry it as a shoulder bag. But I really love this, this handbag when I am doing something a little bit dressier. I have styled both of these handbags with nicer outfits going to church, but I've also styled them in really just 
t-shirts, jeans, sweatshirts, shorts, casual. I think both of these handbags can work across the board for many different scenarios. And that's why I love them so much because they have that dressed down casual look, but they have the option of becoming that dressy, chic little handbag that looks great with a power heel. I guess at the end of the day, I would really consider what do you do every day? Where do you go? What is your style? How do you dress? And how is the handbag, because it is an accessory, how is this accessory gonna work with what you choose to wear? And then I would make your decision based upon that. If you guys have any other questions or comments or anything I have not touched upon, please leave a comment below and I will get to answering that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you have nothing short of a fabulous day and we'll chat again soon. Bye guys.